our wood shop at the 2019 AWFS. And right now I'm gonna take a look at something that I've already put a video on and I was pretty excited about. It's brand new to me and brand new to the market. It's a CNC that's portable, a smart, called the Smart Wheel. And Andy's gonna tell us all about it. Hi guys. How you doing Andy? Yeah, no bad on you. The front here is a 4x8 large format portable as an and as importantly storable CNC router. We started the Yeti tool because of a genuine need. We wanted a large format CNC router that we could put away and get out at any time and that didn't cost the earth and we couldn't find one. So we designed one. Smartbench is a portable large format CNC machine. Well, Smartbench is different because it's deployable. That's the main thing. It's, it's got all the functions of a full-blown CNC router, but you can break this down and then reassemble it in three minutes. And that means you can keep it in your garage or in the back of your van. And then wherever you are, whenever you need a CNC router, just put it together and get going. You can break this down in three minutes. You can set it back up in three minutes. So, if you're sitting on the corner leaning in the wall in my garage, and in three minutes, I can have it ready to cut it. Okay, so basically you've got seven subassemblies. You've got each end, so that's two. This is the Y bench, which is one. This, you have the lower X beam. You have the upper X beam. You have the really important stuff that head head. And then you have the console. Basically what you do is you slide the lower end. One set of legs on with the other set of legs on, then slide the upper edge bit down to the lower, push it on the head and then connect the pump. I just haven't had time to get set up. Plug in, and you pop it off, and you don't. Okay, we're not going to tear it down here because, or we're not going to cut with it because we're in an area in the show that we, we can't cut. But we'll hopefully get some video and show you that. We're going to talk, talk you through it. So I'll trust you that it's three minutes. Let's say it was even five. That's still acceptable. Okay, so uh, online you've got uh, Ed, Mad Ed, as I call him, the, one of the engineers behind this, and, and he's putting it up in three minutes. Raise the upper beat, slide your workpiece and spoil board underneath. Okay. And then clamp it down. That's, and what that's doing is it's, it's making sure that the workpiece is perpendicular to that cutter. Okay. And that's the important thing. You keep the workpiece perpendicular, you're cutting it out. This is big enough for that. So my spoil board, I can go thin, but maybe I want a little more support. So I cut a lot of 18 millimeters and 12 millimeters. So I can take an 18 millimeter spoil board, so I've got some thickness, and then put my 12 millimeter with it, I'm going to cut all the way through, slide those in, and then go, and then pull out my cut pieces, and then stick it in and see if I'm cutting out small pieces. Sometimes you need little yep. tabs yep. so it stays in place. Yep. Right. That's optional. It's not up to you. Up. I mean, it's up not right. you. You, you want to have something in there to, you know, to hold that piece of plate. But one well, option to work holding is you can do a double sided tape to hold your work piece down. If you do that, then maybe you don't need those tabs because the tape is holding that, that center piece. Okay, so basically what SmartBench needs is a G-code file that has been processed through Gerbil, which is a common post-processor in CNC CAM packages. So GRBL, it's an open source post-processing file. Um, so Fusion, Metric, Rhino, Cabinet Vision, they all have good post-processors built in. So if I design in my program, I use Spectrum. Okay. Uh, and I, but I output it in this 
I'm putting through the gerbil to get G-code. Right. So I get the G-code yep. on a thumb drive or something? And so you have two options. You can either put it on a thumb drive, pop it in that side, okay. uh, or it's fully Wi-Fi. So I might stay uh, link this to my phone. So I, can just, I can just send the file, link the file. So wherever you are, so for instance, I was in Paris three, four weeks ago, Smart Venture, the architecture, the School of Architecture in Paris, they didn't want to disturb their network. Schools get very excited about their products. <laughs> so I said, don't worry, I connected the uh, console to my phone, my phone to my laptop, and transferred the file. So it's just an ad hoc Wi Fi right there. The way we've set up the user interface for the Smart Bench console is so that it's as user-friendly as possible. We wanted to love using it, so we designed it all around a touchscreen and made it app-based. The console is fully Wi-Fi, so you can transfer files really easily and push new apps and software to make everything faster and easier to use. Durability, I mean, you know, it's a I'm going to be hauling it in my trailer, or my van. I'm setting it up on a job site. Obviously, I'm going to be making a shot. That's the purpose. What, what are my concerns? Are you guys not through that? I mean, there, it's going to get pounded around. It's going to get pounded around. Uh, we didn't design to be trying to second guess all of the key points that are going to get in. So, the end, you know, they're, they're, they're going to get a little bit mental up. But the engineering tolerance is here to make sure that even with some of the little bit of distortion in the key areas, has no impact on the way What about warranty replacement if there are things that go bad? Because they do. Of course, yeah, absolutely anything. So, it's a 12 month warranty. We in our engineering process, you know, it's a case, as you say, things do go bad, so we have made everything field replacement. So, for instance, all of the wiring looms, they're all plugged both ends. So if something went wrong with those, one could be sent out if the end user customer was, was happy to fit himself, or part of the machine gets sent back to the point of purchase, and they'll do it and return it. So, for instance, the real intelligence behind this is behind smart bench is here and here. This slid off, put in a, a, a box, sent back to point of purchase, and another one's been sent out. Well you know we get to take a look at this. Uh, so, so you will send a temporary one or well we'll send a replacement. A replacement. That's a service. Getting parts, uh, you guys are, are making enough to have the Yeah. So we're on. This has been two years in, in the engineering making and engineering making, and then ensuring that this platform is rock solid, concrete. This is our foundation. This is where we build our business. So we spent two years doing that. Um, now we're in production wrapping that. So you know, we've reached the numbers that we. Juice. And as part of that, then any distributor can take a spare kit, a spare part of it, as part of their service, yeah. so they can make it support the customers as and when they need and as and when they need. So you've got the distributorship in the United States? Yep. So, yep, we have, uh, we took, uh, we started developing uh, uh, Yeti to the southeast. Uh, they started about six weeks ago. Um, so we're again in that wrap So there's local supply, I mean, like US locals. Yeah. And um, as a business, we absolutely believe in having local people support, you know, their market. In all of this, the whole kit, everything that I see here, the, the whole thing is about $6,000 US. 6000 US delivered. That's both a lot of money and it's reasonable. Yeah. So as a professional woodworker, I look at value. Yeah. As long as it's going to produce for me and keep producing, that's a good problem. If I'm a homeowner, 
uh, do, do it yourself or anything. You know, it's it's a bit of a stretch. But a lot of homeowners are starting to consider little 4 by 4 CNCs as well to take up your footprint. So you already get into that where you might be willing to spend a couple of thousand. So now for 6000 you can have a well, I call it a full size. Yeah, full size. You need to be able to do four by four as a minimum to be full size, which will work for a lot of us here in the middle of A lot of customers do things like that. I'm out of the networking, I'm learning how to use it, I'm learning, uh, I'm stretching it. We're always trying to push things yeah, yeah. and things to be stuff. And I run into a hurdle. Yeah. How do I talk to you guys? and find out and get an answer. Okay, so in the US, you don't talk to me, okay. you talk to Eric. And Eric is going to be up to speed on that. Eric is up to speed. Eric's had 25 years experience both in hardware and software and CNC. That was part of our key drive for signing up Eric. He has the understanding, he uses CNC, he can help. I look forward to finding out more about it. I still you know, I've got more questions I want to look at it and see it cutting and understand that. But uh, I think this is a great start. I'm looking forward to giving it a try. Okay, yeah. cool. Thanks a lot, Andy. Thank you very Have much. Have a great day. Thanks for dropping into the Smart Wood Shop on the road.